Today on Tactical Tuesday, we're going to take a look at dead air suppressors and discuss what sets them apart from other suppressors on the market. Continuing our suppressor series, we're going to take a look at the dead air suppressors. Dead Air was founded by two silencer industry icons, Mike Pappas and Todd McGee. And with their leadership and ingenuity, Dead Air has become a brand that's been synonymous for incredibly rugged designs and well-built suppressors. From the classic Sandman series to the new Sierra 5 lineup of suppressors, Dead Air has created an entire lineup of varying suppressors that's going to have you covered regardless of the type of shooting you do. Whether you're looking for something that's incredibly lightweight for hunting or precision shooting, looking to suppress just a simple 22, or you need something that can take a lot of abuse and will still be reliable after thousands and thousands of rounds, Dead Air is going to have a suppressor that's going to work perfectly for you. In order to create such durable suppressors, Dead Air uses space age materials such as Stellite and 17.4 stainless steel. What that means is that these cans can take a lot of abuse and are not nearly as susceptible to extreme heat fluctuations that you may find with other suppressors. One of Dead Air's most durable suppressors is the Sandman series. Internally, they are completely made of Stellite materials. Their baffle system is stacked and welded, which gives it an incredibly durable internals and they can take a ton of abuse. Uh, these are rated up to 300 rum and while maybe not the most quiet suppressor on the market, they weren't necessarily designed to be. These were designed to be dependable and reliable after, even after thousands and thousands of rounds being put through these. Many of the guys here in the shop actually use these because of how durable they are and have seen very little signs of wear or tear even after having used them a ton over the last couple of years. Another reason the Sandman series of suppressors are so popular is because of the mounting system that they have. Uh, Dead Air has called this mounting system the chemo mount. The chemo mount is awesome because similar to a trilug system that you would see on other suppressors, this allows you to mount your suppressor onto your firearm very quickly and be able to take it off just as fast. All you gotta do is drop it on to the front of the muzzle device, give it a quick turn, ratchets right into place, and locks on nice and tight. Once you're ready to take it off, reverse the twist, pull it off. The nice thing about this system is that it helps prevent uh, carbon lockup and gives you a very good return to zero every time you take your suppressor off and put it back onto your firearm. And for those of you looking for a suppressor that's incredibly lightweight, something that's gonna be more suited for hunting or for precision bolt action firearms, Dead Air's got you covered with the Nomad and specifically the Nomad TI suppressor. The Nomad TI suppressor is completely made out of titanium and is a very lightweight suppressor. Weighing in only at 9.7 ounces, this can is hardly noticeable when mounted to the front of a firearm and does an excellent job at suppression. Uh, that's even rated up to 300 Norma Mag. Uh, that being said, it does have some downsides. The full titanium version is not suited for semi-automatic fire. While it can handle it up to a certain point, if you're planning on mounting this to something like an AR-15 or an AK-47, Dead Air would recommend that you go with the standard stainless steel version, as it's going to be more suited for the repetitive concussive forces of a semi-automatic rifle. And if you're an AK guy, Dead Air's got you covered as well with the Wolverine. Dead Air chose to stick with a com block style aesthetic and the suppressor mounts directly to the existing front sight block and uses the front sight block pin to help prevent the suppressor from loosening when under heavy firing sessions. So we've discussed the more serious side of suppression, such as the tactical applications and the precision long range and hunting side of things. But if you're looking for something a little bit more you know, fun, Dead Air's got you covered with the mask. The mask is an excellent 22 suppressor. It is rated up to 5.7 by 28, which means it can handle a fair amount of pressures for such a small can. And like its big brothers, it's built out of great materials, and so it can take a lot of abuse. Some people may wonder why you'd even bother suppressing a 22. That's a conversation I have a lot with people who are looking to get into suppressors. Uh, 22s aren't particularly loud as is, but many of us learned how to shoot on a 22. And if we can take away a little bit more of that intimidation factor for those new shooters who are getting into the sport or learning kind of this lifestyle, why not go ahead and do so? A suppressor on a 22, 
makes it about as loud as a paintball gun, which is awesome if you're trying to learn and teach others how to use a firearm properly. You don't have to worry about using bulky hearing protection or something that's gonna kind of impede your way of communication. The 22 mask is a fantastic suppressor if you're looking to suppress a 22 LR or anything similar. And while we've just kind of scratched the surface of the various styles uh, of suppressors that Dead Air offers, we have many more here in the shop that are available. So if you don't see your favorite one here or if there's one you, you have some questions about, feel free to reach out to us. Um, give us a call or stop by the shop and we'll be happy to help you find the perfect Dead Air suppressor for you and get you all set up and ready to go. As always, we do all the paperwork here in-house, and so we take away a lot of those questions and you know, concerns that people may have with kind of getting into the suppressor world. Let us help you do so. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, and thank you for watching today's Tactical Tuesday. Have a great day.